We start with the story of Andy and Leah Lynch. In the United States, every year, over 135,000 children find a home through the process of adoption. That may seem like a staggering number. However, for each family, it's a miracle for, our, for them all. For our own Andy Lynch and his wife Leah, it's personal. I recently sat down with the Lynches. They share their story with me, full of prayers, promises, and some heartbreak of how God provided them two amazing miracles. A couple years in is when we started trying, and after a year, um, that was when this whole process started um, for, for the adoption. So that Sunday morning, uh, the message was about if there's a need that you can fill, then you're, you're supposed to fill it. You know, God puts needs around us that we have the ability to fill, right. and that kind of hit home to us. Yep. I know for me, it was coming off of a season where it was, you know, it was challenging and um, it had challenged my faith as we had spent so much time um, going through the infertility and that sort of stuff and um, really felt like God was, was speaking to my heart that morning. And my response to him was, well, if you're speaking to me, you better be speaking to him then too. <laughs> we closed the bedroom door for a moment and he looks at me and goes, well, what did God say to you this morning at church? And I looked back at him and I said, well, what did he say to you? <laughs> and that was, you know, we knew that at that point God was saying, you have love to give. And um, this is how I want you to, to build your family. And so medically, sure, there were things we still could have tried, but we knew that God was saying, this is, this is the path I have for you. And that um, got the ball rolling. God was saying, here's what I really want you to do, and I need you to be on board for this. Well, that was September, and um, we didn't sign our first paperwork until December of that year. And so we spent the end of that year um, researching agencies <laughs> and figuring out what we were going to do, because this was all new to us. And so trying to figure out, you know, who are we going to use for a home study? Who are we going to use for placement? You know, are we going to go domestic? Are we going to go international? And there is, you know, there's so many questions and so many components that go into that, um, that we had to spend a lot of time just praying through it, talking through it and figuring out, you know, what we wanted to do. And so. And then March is when we were first matched with a birth mother down in Texas who had three or four other kids. Mm -hmm. My brother lives in Texas, so we thought this is what God wants. We're, we're going to go down there and we'll live with him until all the paperwork's done. Baby was due in June of 2009. Um, so we were excited. We had a name picked out. We had the crib, you know, right. already. The room was ready. End of February to the beginning of May um, is that portion of our journey before things um, started to get tough and we hit our first um, pretty significant valley in, in the journey. So we were up in Chicago celebrating his birthday. It was the third inning and I got a phone call from our, from our social worker. And um, so I stepped out from where we were at and into the concourse so I could hear what she you know, was going to talk to me about. And um, She had called to let us know that the birth mom had decided to parent. You know, here we were, we were two weeks away from flying to Texas for the birth of the baby. And we get a call that um, we no longer have a child um, that we're gonna have. And it felt like we had lost mm -hmm. our first child. As far as we were concerned, our baby was, was gone and you know, what was next, we didn't know. Andy asked me if I was angry with God, and I said, no, I'm, I'm not angry, I'm just sad. I'm just, I'm disappointed, um, because it was, it was very much a loss. You will hear that losing an adoption can be equated to, you know, to a miscarriage, and it's very much, um, very much that, because we were expectant parents. We were two weeks away from having a child, and suddenly we didn't have that. 